Hello everyone, this is vlog 41. Pepsi's sleeping over there. I, when I was taking out, this vlog is going to be about housing. Now, as some of you may know, I, over the years, have tended to move a lot. And... Since I spent a year on Chad Crescent in Toronto, or well Scarborough, I moved around in less than six or seven months. I moved from Chad Crescent down to Huntley, and on Huntley, I was there for about three months. Two months, really, because I didn't really spend much time there, the third. But officially, I was a resident there for three months. Then I moved from Toronto to Hamilton. The first apartment I lived in in Hamilton, I lived in for May. June, July, August, and the first 15 days of September. So for four and a half months. Then I moved into low income housing on Jackson. So that would have been October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, eight and a half months. That was now the longest I had been in a place. Eight and a half months. Then I moved into this Hamilton one bedroom housing residence. In June, I've been here June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. This is now it's been nine months. March, by the end of March, it'll be 10 months. Then April, 11. May, by the end of May, I'll have been here a year. Woohoo, and I am getting more and more settled in. I have no intentions of moving. I'm happy, really happy, glad. Getting things organized, getting rid of stuff so that I don't have so much clutter, making it easier to get my wheelchair around. There's a grocery store across the road. There's the bakery. There's a 24-hour gas station that has the convenience store, 24-hour Tim Hortons across the road. There's a country stall in the other gas station in that. There's an M&M's food. There's um, rest little restaurants on both sides. And it's not too far to go up to the one YMCA or that. There's a food basics just down at Mohawk. So really, and I take one bus and it takes me all the way downtown. And then I get that bus and it drops me off right outside my building. There's no, oh, I have to walk all this way and if it's raining or snowing or cold or what have you. No. I get off the bus, I come around to the ramp, come up, and in my building. And then down the hall and in my apartment. Right on. I love it. And there, the YMCA that's not too far, there's actually, it's a dual. There's the Y and a library in the same building. Perfect. I am learning. I am doing really well now with two cats and two guinea pigs. That's what I needed. I The four guinea pigs, as much as I loved the other two guinea pigs. Excuse me, but I get to see them on a regular enough basis. I went over and saw my cousin in that um, about a week or so ago. And got to see them. Their names are no longer Jalapeno and Popper. They're Mac and Cheese. 
still food names. <laughs> but yeah, I am really glad for my housing. I'm on the main floor. There's no excuse for my sister not to come. I am going to get a barbecue this summer. Awesome. And I'll barbecue more often because then I just go out my back door and barbecue. Instead of, well, I, like when I had the barbecue and I lived over on James, I had to come down these deadly stairs, go in the back, barbecue, go and then take everything upstairs. And it, it was way too much for me with my legs and my health and that. So here, I'll be able to do it a lot easier. I am super excited about the being here for that long. I am going to keep you updated because Saturday, as you know, this in... The fourth day from now, I go to see the GI and hopefully find out what's going on. I got my blood test results. So I'm an, I have an appointment next week for my, with my doctor. My thyroid's out of whack, so that means the, the medication I'm on for my thyroid isn't working. There's inflammation issues, so arthritis. There is the good thing, my A1C is down from last time. Awesome. So that my sugar levels are getting in check. I, my testosterone levels are low, so I'm going to have to get on track and possibly be taking more testosterone. We'll see, because I need to build it back up. I got hissed at by my cat. I went in the bathroom, and as you may have noticed, I've shaved off my beard and my, must my mustache and my beard. I'm clean shaven. Well, I went in the bathroom, took my shower, shaved, came out, and went to pet my cat, my female cat, Chloe, and... She looked at me, she hissed, jumped down and went under the bed. I don't think, because I've, it's been a month or more since I've shaved, I don't think she recognized me. Or she's just being a silly girl. I'm not sure. But, yeah, so that's the updates of things and how things are going right now. I'll update you more as things come. And you will have a even better update on the housing when I reach a year, but I am about to go into my 10th month of living in this same building. So, two months after that will be a year. One whole year almost. Well, gonna go and rest. Much love. Peace out. Bye-bye.